Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play of Granada and European Universe 4 in the Vita Z Fortitude mod. Now, a few little awkward things of I think are gonna have to be done. Namely, kicking Portugal out is gonna have to definitely, with no other option, be kicked out. Now, Sevilla is not the strongest of nations. He's a Tech 6, so he is at the same tech as us. We may surpass him temporarily in tech. And well, I'm gonna have to reland in Sevilla, I'd assume. Oh, and tech. Yes, damn please. I wouldn't mind if I do. So that puts me at tech 7, which puts me ahead of most nations, excluding a certain rival. Portugal is an absolute dingus. Now look at this, he has cores on all of this. So here, they last for quite some time. Ugh, fine. That cost a lot because, you know, bitchy admirals, but uh gotta deal with it. And anyway, I've got the income, so I'll take the galleys. And for the matter, I am gonna have to call some extra stuff. Now I took this just to say, let's get, um, just so I could eventually begin to see this. Siwa is a potential area to attack through. And there's three areas I have not called. But either way, Landing, oh god, Castilian separatists are ra raking Portugal. Now they've caught a decent amount of it too. So I do think there's going to be conflict in between Portugal and Castile. Which would be pretty lovely to see them go to war with each other. And most likely attack. I'm going to keep them as my vassal. They've got very poor land. There's no real need to do anything else. The income is also going to increase. And then to all intents and purposes, Sevilla is basically the stop default game's Granada, excluding the fact it has Gibraltar. It's also Sunni and Andalusian. It just has a different name and it's Western Tech. But they sort of start as Western Tech in this mod. Now I am going to have to recall all of the land that I sold to them. And I can't go to war till this region sees up. So when this little bastard takes the throne. Of course I expect pretenders. The next province to call would be Zila. And I am going to have the power to do it very soon. So, I'm going to get Zila cord. Hopefully I can get Bedouin accepted. And Kano is... it's wrecked b Cannon Borno. So I'm relatively powerful. If not all. So only Jerusalem. Jerusalem is all it is standing up to Byzantium here. And, well, what are this? 25,000? They don't stand a chance.
get some extra naval morale. Now, I can't see anything on these two. So, there. And then to Berserk, where you can gain your additional galleys. But see, they are 3k. That is not going to be a big threat. I can land in Altmeria and move across. It doesn't seem like they've built anything particularly special either. Apart from a marketplace and a temple. No, that's no, that's Castile, derp. Now that is Gibraltar, and yeah, nothing particularly special. So this regency is going to make things a little bit blue, but it should be okay. Now, I have no doubt that if Byzantium Phalanx is that, they are going to end up wanting a certain few areas. Namely, look at Egypt. It's rich. Who would not want to take that? And if Byzantium turns on Egypt, well, that means I could probably get a little bit of the pie too. Maybe some of this here, maybe some of that there, some of this over here. In general, getting... I doubt Byzantium... Oh god, they have, they're bordering Egypt. And I have a feeling things are going to go very, very quickly downhill in their relations. Byzantium desires Rashid, and that is it. Wow, okay then. And, yeah, they, they like each other. But it could go downhill. Trebils? Okay, that's lovely. Beginning to gain manpower back too, so everything's going uphill now. It's just a matter of getting this kid, if you like, on the throne. And boy, my tech is hilarious to look at. So I'm going to switch to that. Oh, what are you what are you doing, Porch? At war with Bolon in the Venetian reconquest of whatever the shit that is. Provence has done a nice little bit of work in France. And it's Bolon versus Venice. Holy hell! Italy just looks like an absolute clusterfuck. Sicily, Bolon, and Savoy versus Venice, Portugal. Is it just Venice and Portugal? Holy hell, Venice has made a bad choice. <laughs> you have screwed up, son. You One does not simply screw up that much. Watch Venice get wolf stomped. No. It's basically guaranteed. Portugal's navy just got lol stomped, which is bloody hilarious. Papal States in Lyon. Lyon. Are you not that uh, Yet yeah, they are no longer... They are independent, if they wish to be. And Galatia is just like, what? What is Galatia? It is an independent kingdom. What the hell is this, then, Iberia? What are you doing? This ain't Iberia. This is an absolute what-the-hell-fest. So... Galatia, if I can somehow get a claim on them, I can go for Galatia. I don't, not just a claim, just a valid reason. I don't want to know CB. Yeah, I just get a whole bunch of extra power. Sicily is already landed here. Already. This could have been the time to declare... England is going to be involved in this, actually, aren't they? Nope, England is not called in, because Portugal is the only ally, I think. Now, are they really going to let Venice run free? And siege all this shit up, Matt? 
I'd imagine there's going to be big conflicts in Northern Italy here for a little bit. But holy hell, I did not expect Sicily to suddenly be down here. Next thing you know, you're just going to look at Portugal and it's going to be covered in Sicily's green. Sicily invaded Portugal, 10 out of 10. That would be absolutely awesome. Now, Sevilla has not got the greatest king. I doubt they'll keep up in things. I'll be getting cannons relatively soon. Pot de Feu. I'll also be getting upgraded infantry. Late medieval infantry. Halberd infantry. Those are the options. Let's see in advance. Which is better? One's more defensive, one's more offensive. I'd probably go with the late medieval for, for the offensive... Wait... Yeah, it's more offensive. I'll probably go for them. Apart from certain things. But, well, doesn't matter. Now, I could form Carthage if I had tunes. My stability was one and I was a pagan. But that's not going to happen. Now, I need to get back to our Andalus. Culture in all owned provinces will become Andalusian. That is basically saying, form it, and say you own literally all of this here. Say you own France. You pass that decision, and by the looks, France becomes Andalusian. Why would you not do it? Because that would be the most hilarious thing in the world. And did the war already end? They didn't seem to land it back. It looked like Venice said, fuck it, and gave up. Venice is not scary. What legitimacy? Well, considering this is a regent, I should be okay anyway, because I'm going to lose a lot anyway. And anyway, I need to gain a little bit of manpower back in preparation for the pretenders. I half expect them to appear in Tangiers. And I'm going to land in Gibraltar. So I'm going to have the navy ready in Gibraltar. The army in Tangiers. Now I am not going to be able to re-establish the Caliphate for a pretty damn long time. Bedouin is accepted. Voila. So now that the non-accepted culture is gone, gonna go away. That should be pretty good. But it looks like Canon Bornu is also no longer a threat either, because I doubt they'll be able to reconquer any lands. Like they could probably force me to take stuff back. And anyway, Sevilla is gonna die soon. I can get Portugal on this, Papers, the Papacy, and Leon. Now, who else? I was improving relations with someone, I remember that. Tripoli. And the Mamluks like me a little bit. Sure. I'm not going to annex them. Extra buffer state in between me and Egypt. Egypt is diplomatic, which is lovely. Wait. Oh my god! State, if the <laughs> oh god, that would be terrifying. Byzantium can potentially inherit them, as could Ethiopia. I hope Ethiopia does, and they end up fighting. Because Egypt's rich, I have no idea what Ethiopia is like, but if Egypt and Ethiopia versus Byzantium might be something I'd be interested in to see, wouldn't it? But anyway. I should get... Oh, well, that's lovely. It's currently 500. Thank you! But, let's see. I'm gonna get... 300 plus. Oh god, they're not gonna be at least 40 legitimacy now there. And if they haven't got the 40 legitimacy, well, damn it. That ain't nice, is it? I could go for the. I'm gonna go for the idea, siege ability. 
It may put me behind in tech for a f tiny bit. Now, if he has, like, literally on 40 legitimacy, or 41, that would be hilarious. Now, I should be able to take all of this here. Get it called. Wargler. You're not gonna succeed. You're not gonna succeed. Now, maybe I should actually station an army in Gafsa. In case they do rise up there. And Gafsa is a desert. But I have small enough armies that they don't take attrition. Thankfully. So, what's this little... He's gonna come to the throne at the age of 15. So, that's okay. And also, if I get all of this, say I wreck them... Would I be able to then begin pushing into Castile due to their relative state of weakness? If I could, that'd be lovely, wouldn't it? And either way, everything's going to have to be focused on the next tech. Well, this guy is good as a military guy. My air is marginally better at diplomacy as well, so he's basically the s I'm gonna have the same points except one more than this. I'll take the revolt risk everywhere. It doesn't really matter much. Now, if I land in Gibraltar, they only have 3,000 anyway, so they'd probably get crushed with relative ease. And I'm going to have a lot of money, so I'm going to have a few advantages. And I actually regret a certain decision. How long does this last for? Five entire years. Ooh, this could be a bit of a concern. I'm over half of my manpower cap. Well, approaching half of it. Which is pretty nice, nevertheless. But this guy... Oh, he's barely got... He got a child out. At the age of 60 bloody five. Damn. You must have been trying for a while. And what the... Holy hell, look at what happened here. Kipchak got wrecked. The Teutons are just... Whoa, matey. They're even here. What the hell is... This, what is this? England still has this little Albert area. And this is like, what the hell are you doing, England? Why are they willing to trust me somewhat? odd, isn't it? Either way, gonna end the episode here. So, either way, we haven't really accomplished much since regencies and game speed. Either way, bye for now. See you next time.